In this video, you're going to learn how to build a sensor node with an ESP8266 that publishes the temperature and humidity on a day to a free service called ThinkSpeak. For this project, you'll need a few components. An ESP8266, a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor, a 4.7K ohm resistor, a breadboard and some wires. The circuit is very easy to assemble and no soldering is required. Simply follow the on-screen diagram. After having the circuit ready, open your Arduino IDE and install two Arduino libraries. Go to Sketch, Include Library, Manage Libraries and search for DHT. Press the Install button. Then, you'll also have to search for ESP Daily Task and install that library. For this project, we'll be using Thingspeak.com. Thingspeak allows you to publish your sensor readings to their website and display them in a plot with timestamps. Then, you can access your readings from anywhere in the world. It's worth saying that this project can be easily modified to publish the values to your home automation hub or any other application instead of ThingSpeak. The main concept I want to show you with this project is how you can put your ESP constantly in deep sleep mode, publishing a value or doing any action every 24 hours. If you don't have an account on ThingSpeak, you'll have to create one. After your account is ready, sign in, open the channels tab and press the create new channel button. Type a name for your channel, add a description, and enable a second field. Field 1 will receive the humidity readings, and field 2 the temperature readings. Once you've completed all these fields, save your channel. These charts can be customized. You can give each chart a title, for example the first chart will be called humidity percentage, and my second chart will be called Temperature Degrees Celsius. You can also customize the background color, X and Y axis and much more, as you can see. When you're done, press the Save button. In order to publish values with the ESP, you need the right API key. Open the API Keys tab and copy the right API key to a safe place, because you'll need it in just a moment. Go back to your Arduino IDE and copy the code provided in the project page. There are three variables that you need to change. Add your SSID and password so that your ESP can establish a communication with your router. Enter your ThingSpeak write API key in this variable. Now we can take a closer look at the code. The setup function starts by initializing the serial port. Then it calls the ESP daily task function to determine whether 24 hours have passed or not since the last reading. If not, the ESP goes back to deep sleep mode. However, if 24 hours have passed since the last reading, the code will proceed. So, it will initialize the DHT sensor, connect to the Wi-Fi router and make an HTTP GET request to ThingSpeak in order to publish the readings. Once the readings are published, the ESP goes back to deep sleep mode. There's nothing in the loop function because your ESP is constantly in deep sleep mode and wakes itself up. Note that if you're using a different sensor than the DHT11, you can comment and uncomment the right defined line to use your sensor. There is also another important thing you can change. By default, this code publishes the temperature in degrees Celsius. But if you comment this variable and then comment that variable, it will publish the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Once you've made all the changes, you can upload the code to your ESP board. Finally, open the Arduino IDE serial monitor at a baud rate of 115200. You can test your project and simulate each hour passing. Simply remove the wire that connects the reset pin to the zero and then you just have to press the reset button to simulate each hour passing. 
so you need to press 24 times to publish a reading. The counter variable increases every time you press the reset button. Once you reset the ESP 24 times, it will publish the readings to ThinkSpeak. As you can see, the humidity and temperature have been successfully published and plotted in the chart in real time. After testing the circuit, you should reconnect the wire from reset to D0, because the ESP will wake up every hour, but you will only publish a value every 24 hours. I hope this project was useful. Now you know how to apply the daily task concept to any project. Thanks for watching.